Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and let's do another problem. This time, we're going to look at two lines. We have one line that goes th through the point negative 4, 4 and 8, negative 10. We have a second line that goes through the point 4, 8 and through the point 18, 20. And what we're being told to do is decide whether the lines given, that is these two lines, because they're being given to us. Decide whether the lines given are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. The trick to doing this is to use the slope formula on both sets of points. If the points, uh, if the slopes are the same, then the two lines are parallel. If the points are what we call opposite reciprocals, then the lines, I mean the points, if the slopes are opposite reciprocals, then the lines are perpendicular, and if the slopes are neither opposite reciprocals nor the same, then we would say that, well, these lines are normal kind of lines that aren't parallel and they aren't perpendicular. Most lines are not parallel and are not perpendicular. Okay, let's get to work on this. Here's the slope formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what will that give me? I will have negative 10 minus 4 over 8 minus negative 4. So that will give me negative 14 in the numerator and 8 plus 4 on the bottom which will be 12. So I'll have negative 14 on top and 12, positive 12 on the bottom. Yes, that's correct. So now all I have to do is reduce these. Uh, 2 goes into 14 and 2 goes into 12 so if I divide both the top and the bottom by the same number which is 2 then I'll have negative 7 over 6. And that will be the slope of the first line. Now I have to find the slope of the second line. So I'll have m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And that will give me 20 minus 8 over 18 minus 4. 20 minus 8 is 12 and 18 minus 4 is 14. I'll have 12 over 14. 2 goes into both of them and that will give me positive 6 over <coughs> positive 7. So, let's look here at the first line. Um, negative 7 over positive 6 is going to be negative 7 sixths. And 6 over 7 is 6 over 7. That's positive. So now let's look at the two slopes right next to each other. Negative 7 sixths. Uh, that's a 6. Negative 7 sixths and 6 over 7. Notice that they are reciprocals that have opposite signs. This is positive, this is negative. So I know now that the slopes of the two lines are opposite reciprocals. Spell that out. I hope I spell it right. Okay, those two are opposite reciprocal slopes and therefore I am going to hold my breath and click on perpendicular because perpendicular lines have that kind of relationship. Their slopes are opposite reciprocals. I'm going to check my answer Whew. and I'm correct. Talk to you later.